YouTube, how's it going? Big news of the day. Richard Sherman, will he be traded? Will he be released? It does sound like he will not be with the Seahawks next year. Very interesting topic. Had to get right on this for you guys, right on the video. Once I heard this news, um, a lot of teams up here. Could put more teams up here, but uh, these are the teams I went with. We're going to re remove them one by one until we get to the one I think he's going to. I still think he's one of the top corners in the league. I still like him a lot at the position. Uh, really depends on if he's traded or released. I, I thought for sure it had to be a trade, but then you hear he's meeting with the front office, meeting with Pete Carroll, and that almost sounds like, I mean, it, it could mean anything, but it almost sounds like he could get released even, which is very surprising because he's still a hell of a corner. I don't think he's getting overpaid or anything. Seahawks have a bit of, situ a, bit of a situation over there. They it's got some guys that maybe are getting overpaid, maybe don't want to be on the team anymore. So defense a little bit of a mess. They do need O-line help. They, I mean, it's hard to go on rebuild mode when you have Russell Wilson on your team, though. So very interesting what the Seahawks have going on. I'm going to take the Seahawks off first. The only reason I have them up here is maybe they discuss a, a pay cut. Maybe he accepts it. I don't know. He's saying his goodbyes to teammates, though, but maybe he realizes he doesn't want to leave those guys. Maybe he takes some sort of pay cut. I think it's still an option, but unlikely. Uh, another team I'm going to remove, a big-time defensive back needy team. But the Bucks, I, I don't see him going to the Bucks. I, I really, I see him going to a contender. I don't even if he's traded, doesn't really have a choice, or maybe he does have a say in it. But um, I, I just don't see him there. Another team is the Bears. They need a corner, but I just don't see him in Chicago. I don't know why. Really, I just don't see him in Chicago. Maybe more of a contender. The Bears have a bright future, but I just don't see him there. Another team I would like him on. Another team that needs a corner. Um, is the Steelers, but I'm going to take them off because their cap situation, they, their franchise, and tag, franchise tagging Le'Veon Bell. Do they work out a deal with him? I did have a video on Le'Veon Bell where he could get traded. Very interesting that Richard Sherman came up in this. Maybe, very unlikely, but maybe they work out a trade to get Sherman, but unlikely with their cap situation. Um, another team that I see that I want to take off the board right away is the Rams. Pairing him with Marcus Peters would be ridiculous if they don't get Tremaine Johnson back. But do they have the cap to do that? They traded for Sammy Watkins. They do want to bring Sammy Watkins back under contract. So that's I think they'll focus on that. But Richard Sherman or Marcus Peters would be just, just fantastic. Um, I mean, a lot of these teams I like. Uh, another team, maybe the Niners. They... They could be good this year, but again, I can see him going to maybe a for sure contender team. They do have the space. If he's released, they can sign him to a big contract. They can trade for him, but I don't know if they want to get rid of picks. They're a team that wants to add picks. I don't know they should add picks where they're at. They're pretty good. They got some young talent, but I don't know if they want to get rid of picks. But if he's released, they can offer him a good contract. Um, another team that needs a corner, and I would love him on there. But I got to get rid of is going to be the Raiders. I think they'll make a play for Tremaine Johnson, maybe Muhammad Wilkerson. So the focus would be there. But maybe they scrapped the Tremaine Johnson. Maybe they focus on Sherman. Could they possibly get them both? Does he take a pay cut if he's released to go somewhere else, to go to a contender? Interesting topic. Uh, yeah, another team, if he's released, I can see getting him. And I would love him on there. But I just don't think it'll happen is the Vikings. Him on that Zimmer defense with Rhodes would be, it would be completely stacked. It'd be just fun to watch. I think if he's released by the Seahawks, I think that may come up. Maybe he takes a smaller amount of money from a team like the Vikings or a team like the Rams just to go to a contender, for sure contender, and just stack that secondary. Him with Mike Zimmer would be great, but I think he will be traded. I don't see the Vikings get rid of, getting rid of picks. I don't know if they sign Kirk Cousins. Do they have, can they pay Richard Sherman and their other guys? Most likely not. So that's why I gotta take them off the board. Um, now we're starting to get down to teams that I really like. Um, geez, I'll take the Lions off. I don't know if I see them there. They got Darius Slay. That would be a good duo. I don't know if their focus is there, though. Maybe getting a running back, maybe get pass rush. That's probably where their focus is at, but it's a possibility. Another team, if he was released to look out for, probably not traded. I mean, if he was traded, he probably wouldn't go to the Lions. Uh, another team would be the Broncos, I'd say. Another team that would be, he would have to be released. Uh, they're talking about getting rid of 
some of their own defense back, so they may be able to make the space for him, but they're kind of focused in on their quarterback. But do they release their DBs? Do they release a receiver? Just rumors, but that could open up some space. I would love him on the Broncos too. That would get that defense back to where it uh, once was just uh, very recently. Whew. Panthers, I guess I'll have to get rid of next. Um Got some free agents of their own. Maybe they'll focus on. They do need DBs. I feel like they've needed DBs for for a few years now, and they've been doing pretty good without getting, like, big-name guys. So, I know, different guy in there. Steve Wilkes left, but it's definitely an option for them. I don't know if I see them trading, but it's it's definitely definitely an option. Uh, I'll take the Saints off. They would love to have him with Latimer. I think he would love to be on the Saints. They got a uh, – they're definitely a contender. Maybe they're not – as strong as what he's been on the past defensive wise, but they're getting there. Um, so they could be appealing, but I don't know if they can pay him, um, but definitely a possible spot because they're a good team. I will take the jets off. I like the jets cap situation. I like that they have, they have multiple second rounders so they could offer a trade. I don't know what, I don't know what they people would trade for him. I would think a second rounder. Maybe he's probably worthy more than that, but Seahawks may release them, so it's really up in the air, these trades. I don't know, but the Jets could make it happen, but I just see him on more of a contender. But, again, if he's traded there, and maybe it's not his call. Um, these these are the main teams here. The Packers need a corner badly. Do they have the cap room? Maybe. It, it depends. I don't know. I don't know if he wants to join that defense. That defense is struggling. It's struggled. They can get it back, though. And they do have the picks to trade for him. So it's definitely an option. I'm taking him off, but it's definitely a legit option. Um, man, the Texans. Texans need a corner pretty badly, but I just don't see. I don't know if I see him. I could see him, but there, but I think I like these other teams more. These These five teams talking about. The Bills, I like the fit there. They did get Vonta Davis with Tredavis White, but they could add Sherman to that easily. I do like the fit. They can easily trade picks for him. Um, so I can see that. The Cowboys need a corner. The Cowboys are always an appealing team. People want to play there. People want to play for the Dallas Cowboys. A lot of players would not would not pass that up. We've seen big-time players want to go there. Earl Thomas wants to go there. Maybe they reunite in a year. That's why that's interesting. The Titans... The Titans need a corner, and he was rumored to be getting possibly traded there last year during the draft. So, and they got Vrabel there now. They need a corner. Uh, I that's a legit spot. You look at the Chiefs. The the Chiefs losing Marcus Peters. He could be a replacement, but I don't know if the Chiefs have the cap room. Even with get a, getting rid of Peters and Alex Smith, I know they were in the negatives last year, but I'm sure they're. They probably can afford them, but I guess I'll take them off. I'm kind of just splitting hairs here, trying to figure out who to choose. Uh, Patriots need a corner. They're a legit contender. Um, they, they're they not afraid to trade for, for veteran players. We know that. If he's released, very appealing. They may might lose some guys of their own, so maybe they can afford him. These, these, these four, I keep saying that, but these are the four teams now. These are the four teams that I really can't split up. Um, ah. Uh, I can see the he, I can see him wanting to play for the Cowboys. I can see him maybe him and Earl Thomas meet up in the future. There unlikely two Seahawks guys just leave to go there though, and I don't know if they want to trade anything. So I'll take the Cowboys off. They could maybe want to trade some, but I don't know if they got anything special they can trade. Uh, these three teams, the Patriots are known for trading for veteran players. The Bills have multiple second round picks they can use the trade. I, I like to fit there. Um, Titans, I like him being number one corner with Logan Ryan, with the Dory Jackson. That is a damn good trio for the future. Um, and again, he was rumored to be going there last year. So Titans, we're talking about trading for Jarvis Landry too. So they're open to trading. Do they trade for Landry? Do they trade for Sherman? Do they stack up on draft for more draft, trade for more draft picks? Titans want to move. I know that they want to move around a little bit. Um, Really what it comes down to, I'll take, just to narrow it down to two, just, I'm going to go Patriots, Titans are the final two. I know I know where I think he'll go, um, but just to show you my final two there, um, Titans, I think the Titans will make a trade somewhere in here. Maybe it's not for a veteran player. Maybe it's a big trade in the draft. I don't know. I think they'll do it, but I think he ends up on the New England Patriots. It's just, 
it's just the feeling I got. It's just it it just makes sense. Not gonna really gonna be fair. Gilmore with with Sherman get that defense. To, if they had if they had Sherman, they would have won the Super Bowl. That's the next debate. He would have been able to lock down Alshon Jeffrey. I mean, Gilmore had a good season, um, but I, I think they would have won the Super Bowl. That's that's what they needed. They needed a defensive back. Maybe they needed more than that, but that's what they were missing. They uh, could use some pass rush in there too. Maybe not our safety, but I can just see them going to the Patriots. They're not afraid to trade draft picks. Um, really, what's the value for them? That's the big question. Will he be released? Would be surprising, but it could happen. Um, he could take a pay cut, stay with the team, but I'm going with the Patriots. That's just my feeling right now. A lot of these teams I had up on the board, uh, they can, you can go to any of them. But, uh, yeah, that'll do it for Richard Sherman. we got plenty more videos to come, whether it's draft or free agency coverage, so check all those out. Stay tuned for more of those. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.